Sales Chain, everyone. My name's Rob Elliott, and here we're going to talk about what keeps every business and every salesperson going. It's not no different to a logistics chain. It's no different to the chains you use at home when you're pulling someone down. Honestly, this is really, really important. There's two parts to a sales chain when it comes to a business. First, the process by which a sale moves through the business. A lot of people don't realize that there's a lot of little parts when it comes to how a sale goes from when they order to when it's delivered. The other part, of course, is how you get the sale. The salesperson, the person who is in the order room. It can be the website. It doesn't matter. They've both got a process and they're both so important when it comes to a successful business. The problem is a lot of people don't take the time to look at it. A business sales chain. You know what? It doesn't matter how good your salespeople are. If you don't have the business sales chain down right, it's not going to work. The main point that every business has to realize is that every single person in the business is in sales. They may not all sell, but they're all part of the sale. It can be the person who packs the box down in the warehouse. It can be the person in credit. It can be whoever answers the phone or what your website looks like. Every person affects the sale. And I tell you what, especially today, if one of those people don't do their job, your website doesn't do their job, or your delivery turns up in a box that's not really nice, people know, and you might get that sale, but in honesty, you're not going to get the next one or the one after. The issue is too many people and too many businesses focus on a couple of things, what the shop front looks like, what the branding looks like, or what the marketing looks like. And they forget what we call in sales, the back end. It's the back end that delivers the product. It doesn't matter. You could have the most amazing looking shop front for a ladies clothing store or an IT store. And you can go in and the lights are fantastic. Everything looks really, really great. But if you can't buy the product simply, the product isn't available or the staff aren't trained, it all falls down. Remember, always remember, one bad link in your processes, in your sales chain from the business side, and it all falls apart. Yes, it does sound a little cliche, but it is so true. So many people ask me, how do I look at this? How do I make sure that my business sales chain is what it needs to be? And this is where, as we say in Australia, this is where the rubber hits the road. How can I make sure my business is doing the right thing? This is one of the most important. Get a piece of butcher's paper, get a whiteboard, get a pad, it doesn't matter. And write down every single step a sale takes from when they first place the sale to when they get it. It can be a short chain, but it comes to a retail store where they walk in, choose and go. But you'd still honestly have four or five steps. It can be something as complex as having a fridge delivered online. It can be building an IT, building computer program. You need to write down every step. Most people say, oh, yeah, that'll only take a few. But I tell you what, when you get around and you get everyone around maybe the coffee table over lunch and start writing down and get them to throw it at you every step, you're going to realise there's a lot of steps. The next thing you need to do is review each step. Compartmentalise them, as the engineers or the accountants would say. Every single one and say, does our delivery people meet our customers' expectations? Does the website meet the customers? Go through and be brutal. Be absolutely honest with what you think. And as you go through those steps, you're going to realise and quickly see which one of those links in the chain is letting you down. It doesn't mean that they're doing bad or the people in that area are doing bad. It just means that it needs to improve. So you look at it each step. And I'll tell you, when you see and you make those little things, NFL coaches call it the one percenters. That's right. If you improve every step 1% every month or every week, you're going to come on so strong and you're going to have such a strong business sales chain that you're going to absolutely be the envy of all of the people around you and especially the people that you're competing against. When you've done all that, sit back and stand outside your business. I took a manager one day who was on the other side 
And he was looking and he said, my company runs great. My staff are great. Everything's great. So I took him to the other side of the counter and we sat in the corner with a cup of tea and watched. And he was very disappointed. You've got to look from the outside in. You've got to use things like mystery shoppers. You've got to use feedback. You've got to see how people perceive your business. How does it? And you say to yourself, would I buy from my company? Would I use that website? Would I go into that store? Be honest. It doesn't matter if you come in and say, yes, I would. I love it. But at the same time, you've got to think, well, my customers, would they do it? Very, very quick story. I'd been with the same mobile phone company for 10 years and needed a new mobile phone. So I went down to one of their branded stores. The branding, magnificent. They are an international company, by the way. I won't say who it is. Inside store was laid out, fantastic. Products, brilliant. So I found one of the guys in there and I said, I wanted to buy a phone. You know what? He told me everything that he wanted to tell me. He never once looked me in the eye. He was looking outside into the shopping centre. Never listened, never did anything. Guess what? I didn't buy the phone. I walked up to the competitors, bought a new phone and moved my contract. All because of one person, one link in the chain, not doing as they were trained. Either they didn't have the training or they didn't do as they were told. And it was that simple. But you put that every day, you lose one customer every day and it will make a big difference to your bottom line. Obtaining the sale is the second part. You know what? A lot of people say selling and public speaking, it's the two most scariest things they do. They say, I've never sold in my life. That's wrong. There was a a report came out in America a few years ago that said 17% of all jobs in America are sales related. Wrong. 100% are. We have been selling all our life. We all remember when we were little and we wanted to get that cookie. We looked around the room at the family gathering and said, who's going to give me that cookie? And there was that one favourite aunt. That one favourite aunt when you walked up, gave them a tug, looked up with a big, beautiful smile and you could get anything you wanted. Guess what? You were selling. You just didn't realise it. Everyone can sell. Everyone is in sales. But it's no different to any other physical process. No other different to a chain. It has links. You've got to follow a process. It's full of links. And if you're not good at certain things, it'll let you down and the sale will fall through. One bad link, or as we call them, one bad skill can let you down. But you know what? The challenge is, especially with salespeople, and I know it's it's hard to admit us, but we don't like admitting when we're wrong. We don't like admitting when we have a weak skill and we hate it when people tell us we're not doing something well. But when you want to set yourself free is you take that on. You take all of that on and you admit when you can't speak that well or when you don't know product knowledge as well as you should. And then you fix it. You can hide and pretend, but the most important thing is to acknowledge it. So the simple rules that anyone in any business, it doesn't matter if you've sold or not, can follow. Do not overthink it. Do not overcomplicate it. So many people have told me they've seen a fantastic product, but the purchasing process was terrible. The product was hard to use. The how-to notes, I just couldn't get around. Keep everything simple. It's the old KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. I tell you what, the most simple rule, it is so, so true. Next, use your eyes to observe, your ears to listen, and your mouth to ask for information in that order. If you go into a room and you're pitching for a new accounting customer, if you're watching around a retail store, it doesn't matter. In that order, observe your customer, their body language, what they look at, what they don't, where they take a little bit more time over over the web on a certain product. We'll tell you what they're looking for. Open your ears to listen. And I don't mean anything else, but just stand there and listen. A customer will tell you far more than they want to if you let them and ask them what we call nice open questions. Never ask a question that ends with a yes and no unless you're wanting to close the sale. Too many people do what we say, listening to respond. They've got the response ready in their head. It doesn't matter what the customer says. You can't do that you will fail every time. Give the customer what they want, sell them what they need. It is is gold when it comes to sales. 
I can tell you how many people have gone into a shop to buy a shirt, walked out with a pair of pants, a pair of socks, a pair of jeans. It happens all the time. A customer goes onto a car yard and he wants to buy a car. Good. The salesperson will give him a car. But a good salesperson will listen to where he wants to drive, what he wants to do with the car, how much he wants to spend. And he may want the blue car over there, but a good salesperson will say, yeah, I'll sell you a car. But over here, this is the car that best suits what you're looking for. It is so important. And you know what? A customer will absolutely love you for it. A customer will thank you and they will tell everybody what you do, how you do, and how good you are. Have we ever gone into a website and you bought a camera? And then it sounds down below and it says, people who bought this also bought this. And it could be a camera case. It could be another lens. It could be wipes. Exactly the same. Give them what they want, sell them what they need. A lot of the times people don't realize it. It's a very, very simple process. And people buy people. It doesn't matter how good your product is, how much value, how whatever it looks like. If they don't like the process, if they don't like the person they're dealing with, if when they go onto the website, it's clunky and annoying, they won't buy. They just will not buy. So you can say to people, how do I do this? Well, be you. Just be you. It's all part of the sales chain. You can get all the way to the end, but if the person doesn't like you, they're not going to buy a house from you. Very simple. When a customer likes a product and the process is easy, price will not come into it. It's all part of the sales chain. It all breaks down. Any one of those three things in your chain, and it's all over Red Rover, as we say, they won't buy. But when they love a product, they're comfortable with it, and it's easy to buy. People go to McDonald's for a reason. Maybe not for the hamburgers, but they know what they're going to get. They know the consistency of the quality. They know the process, and they know how quickly they can get in and out. That's all it comes down to. People don't go to McDonald's for price. They don't go to Kentucky Fried Chicken for price. They go because the whole process, their whole sales chain is absolutely spot on. They get it right. They work damn hard at it. And all the successful companies around the world do this. You just haven't realized it. But I hope after today, you're going to go, well, now I know what they're talking about. And how can I do it in my company? If you want to learn more, fantastic. Drop me a note at thesaleschain.com. And if you want to hear some great people from around the world talk about the sales chain within their business, catch me on the Real Journeys of Success podcast. Thanks very much and have a groovy day. <music>